What is up guys, this is your boy Crimsy here, or the guy with the Belgium accent. And welcome to one of my first ever normal commentaries on Advanced Warfare. The gameplay you're going to be seeing in the background is on the map Defender. Most of the people know this map as the map where the tsunami comes after about 5 minutes, I think, in the game. Um, so this is actually just kill confirmed on the map Defender. Um, in the beginning I was using the the, the, the mob, whatever, whatever the fuck it's called, I'm, I'm, I'm still learning the names of all the sniper rifles. Um, I was I was switching throughout sniper rifles as well, I, I tried the Lynx for a bit, but I soon, I soon, bleh. I quickly realized that the Lynx isn't really the Lynx as we know it from Ghosts. The Lynx in this game is basically like a dragon off. Um, the sniper is really good if you're going for headshots, but it's not the best. It's it's actually not a one-shot kill when you shoot him in the chest. So so far, the only sniper I have actually used is the M O R S or the Mors, whatever people want to call it. Um, and in this gameplay, I'm actually using the uh, thermal side on it because I didn't unlock the gun yet. So I felt like, why not? try and use this gun because um, it's like the, the sniper class setup the the standard sniper class setup um, so I wanted to discuss a couple of things I wanted to know you guys their opinions on, on certain things about this game and in this game first of all this game looks amazing I know it's only been out for two days that's the time that I'm recording this commentary the game has only been out for two days, but I can already tell that I'm going to be playing this game a lot. I'm going to be playing this game until the next Call of Duty comes out. I know that for a fact. This game is just, it's so fun. I'm not doing the best in the beginning. Because it's its new maps, new guns, people fly around like supermans and stuff like that. And I'm still like getting used to it, but... I had so much fun already playing this game. It's probably because I'm not actually going for clips. The thing is though, I am going for clips. But I'm just... I don't know, I'm just running around trying to kill as many people as possible and if I hit a clip then I hit a clip. But this game is just... It looks beautiful. The engine of this game is just really, really good. Graphics wise, um, Gameplay wise as well, it feels it feels great. It feels fast paced. You can have moments where you're just getting demolished and then all of a sudden, because of your exosuit, you can just get out of that spawn trap and you can just switch the tables and spawn trap them or completely annihilate their team. And that's what I like so much about this game. It's not based on, on capping stuff or or just waiting and sitting somewhere. No, you actually run around so many times. Like as you can see in this gameplay as well, I run around the map, the entire map, so many times in a short amount of time, just because of the exo suit. And that's something that I really, really like. All the action is spread out throughout the entire map and doesn't stack up at one point on the map. If you know what I mean. So that's, that's definitely one of the positive things about this game. Another thing that I really, really enjoy is the sniping. I know before the game came out there were a lot of uh, rumors and then arguments that the sniping wasn't going to be as we know the sniping from the past. Um, but in my opinion, the sniping is a bit different, but you don't really see that big of a difference. You can still quick scope, you can still no scope, you can still hard scope, of course, because it's a sniper rifle. But overall, the sniping on this game is just, it's its beautiful. When you kill someone in, in different Call of Duties, like other Call of Duties, um, I don't know if you guys had the same thing as me, but example for Black Ops 1. Um, in Black Ops 1, when you quick scope someone, you were like, yeah, I got a kill, okay, move on to the next kill. But in this game, if you quickscope someone, it's just 
it feels so good. Just the feeling of killing someone with a sniper rifle in this game is the best feeling I had in in the past years. Because we've been waiting for a Call of Duty that has change, that has new stuff. Look, as you can see right now, there's, there's the flood. Doesn't that look awesome? Please tell me that looks awesome. That's... Oh, the feeling that it gives when you see the waves coming toward you is insane. Trust me, it is insane. For the people that have played this map already, you probably know that the wave is just... It, it, looks, it looks great. It looks like it actually is gonna hit you, but then when you're standing on land, it doesn't doesn't affect you at all. But back to the sniping. The only downsize I see at this point, in my opinion, is that there's actually only one sniper rifle that we, us YouTube snipers that go for clips and stuff like that, are able to use. And then as the the Morse, the M-O-R-S. That is the only sniper that you can actually sort of use because it's a one-shot, one-kill, like in previous Call of Duties, like the L96, the MSR, the DSR, the Ballista. It's a one-shot, one-kill. And for the other snipers, I haven't unlocked the last sniper yet, so I, I don't know any information about that. I could look it up if I want, but I still want to keep that a little bit as a surprise for myself. Um, all the other snipers are two shots, one kill. Um, a headshot is also is always a one shot, one kill with a sniper rifle. It has been like that in the previous Call of Duties, and it's still like that in this one. So no worries about that. When you're using a sniper rifle, a headshot is a one shot, one kill. But getting headshots in this game is is really difficult. Um, most of the times when I do manage to get a headshot, it's more of a lucky headshot than actually aiming for someone's head. But that's also probably because we're still getting used to the game. Look at that Onage, that was so nice. Like they, they jumped next to each other and you were like thinking, yep, yeah, I'm definitely fucked. And then you just both take them out. Oh, that feeling, it's just, it's great. I just, I, overall I just like this game so much. I don't really see any downsides besides that I'm playing on the Xbox One and I don't know if this is for the 360 as well but there's a lot of people that like already know things about this game that I don't know. They know the spawns, they know everything. They're basically like MLG pros I would say. I don't really like to call them that way but they're really good at this game so I don't know if that's for the 360 as well. For the people that are watching this video and you're playing on the 360, let me know in the comments section down below if people on the 360 are also smarter than before or if they're still like even dumber than, than before, I don't know. Um, yeah, overall this game is just, it's, it's, it's great, I love this game, just no other words for it and I'm really excited to post so much videos about this game, while playing live commentaries, cutcoms, I know a lot of people don't like to call it that way, cutcoms, but I have no other words for a cutcom than cutcom, I've said cutcom like 20 times now. Um, I'm also going to be doing one clip edits this week, I think. As soon as I hit something good like a split or an actual clip, I haven't actually hit something yet, but I'm, I'm not too bothered about that, um, I'm just getting used to the game, like I said. But as soon as I hit something like in my opinion that I think that's really good. Definitely gonna make a one clip edit out of that. I hope you all enjoyed this commentary ladies and gentlemen. If you did be sure to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe for more advanced warfare videos and I will see you guys in the next commentary. Peace!